Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this shock absorbing fifth wheel to gooseneck pin box by Gen Y Hitch. So this is going to be for those of you who have a fifth wheel trailer that you're wanting to haul with your gooseneck ball in your truck bed. So there's basically three different options that will allow you to uh, hook up your fifth wheel trailer to that gooseneck ball. Um, the first one is getting a fifth wheel hitch that fits onto that gooseneck ball. Uh, so then your kingpin attaches just like any other fifth wheel hitch would, and it's going to be nice and secure for you. Uh, so that's a really nice option for security and stability. The downside to that is those fifth wheel hitches are extremely heavy, really bulky. Uh, so you're going to lose a lot of room in your truck bed. It's also going to be a, a major pain if you're wanting to switch back and forth between your gooseneck and your fifth wheel. Uh, you'll have to take that big hitch out, uh, store it somewhere, put it in the next time you want to use it. So not necessarily ideal if you're going to be switching back and forth. The second option would be a, an adapter that fits onto your kingpin on your fifth wheel uh, that will then have a coupler on the bottom that will fit onto your gooseneck ball. Uh, that's probably the, uh, the uh, least stable of the three options uh, because you've got two connection points. Uh, so there could be a lot of uh, movement or uh, potential failure there. Uh, so that one's probably not the, the best option. And then your third option is this. Uh, this is going to replace your uh, pin box on your fifth wheel trailer uh, so that it's all going to be one unit. It's all going to work really well. You're not going to have to worry about multiple components fitting together. It's going to provide that coupler for your gooseneck ball. So you're basically converting your fifth wheel trailer into a gooseneck trailer so that you can just use that ball for all your gooseneck trailers. Or, yeah. Uh, so this is going to fit right in place on your, your trailer, just exactly where your current pin box is. Uh, they do include these adapters that will allow this to fit with your Lippert 1116 and 1716 fifth wheel pin boxes. Uh, so with these adapter plates in place, it's going to be a, a, a great fit for you. Uh, very easy to get installed using the original hardware that is currently holding your pin box up. Uh, it's going to be very simple to uh, just take that hardware out, lower the old pin box, lift this one in its place, put those uh, brackets up and uh, put your hardware in. Keep in mind, these are extremely heavy, so you're definitely going to want to at least a couple of sets of hands probably going to want to have a jack in the back of your truck to help you lower that original one down and lift this one up in its place. Uh, but once you get it set up, it's going to be a really great option. Uh, for those of you who do have that uh, Lippert 1716 pin box, this is going to be a little bit shorter uh, than your uh, original pin box. It's from the center of our coupler back to our first set of uh, First row of holes here, it's about 16 and 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, so keep that in mind. That is going to bring you a little bit closer uh, to your vehicle. So if you're making turns and that sort of thing, your clearance is going to be reduced. Uh, but overall, a really nice option to just uh, fit right in place of those Lippert pin boxes. This is a nice heavy duty steel construction. Uh, so it's going to hold up really well and be very strong and durable for us. It's give it, going to give us a towing capacity of 25,000 pounds. And of course, that is the weight of the trailer and the load included. It's going to give us a max pin weight, of, uh, the weight we're pushing down on our gooseneck ball of 4,500 pounds. And then a minimum pin weight of 2,000 pounds. Now, that might be a, a little confusing for some of you if you not familiar with a minimum pin weight, uh, that's because of our shock absorbing features here. So uh, this system is going to need at least 2,000 pounds to actually engage properly, give you that nice smooth ride that this system is designed for. And the way this system works, it's kind of like a torsion axle if you're familiar with that concept. So inside each of these pivot points, there's a square bar with rubber cords around it. So as you're hitting road shock and bumps and that sort of thing in the road, those square bars are going to be uh, pivoting, rotating, uh, but they are going to uh, rub up against those rubber cords, which is going to help absorb some of that movement and shock uh, so that you're not going to be transferring your road shock from your trailer up to your vehicle or vice versa. So it's going to be really nice, especially for uh, 
reducing your chucking and uh, jarring kind of feeling when you're, you're going down the road, uh, your rough fore and aft motion, it's gonna be uh, greatly reduced, so it's gonna be a whole lot smoother for you. It's also going to limit your bounce and jarring up and down motion. Uh, so very nice option there with these engaged. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you do have the appropriate amount of weight uh, in, on your trailer. So to help you with that, they include this pin weight scale here. So you can see we've got a red sticker on the bottom and top, and then a green sticker in the middle. And then we have a white line there. So as we're uh, loading down our trailer, getting everything loaded up, we wanna make sure that that white line is lining up with this green sticker. And that's how we know that everything is going to engage properly uh, so that it all works the way it should to give us a nice smooth ride. Now, one thing I really like about this system, uh, rather than uh, like airbags, which are another option in, in the market for helping to uh, create a smoother ride, with airbags, you do have to worry about maintenance. So you gotta make sure you have a proper amount of air pressure, add air pressure, take air pressure out. Uh, always make sure that you have just enough that the bag's not gonna go flat. Uh, so that is gonna be a, a lot of maintenance. This is no maintenance. It's gonna be extremely simple uh, to uh, just get installed and go. It's kind of a set it and forget it sort of option. Uh, so you're not gonna have to worry about uh, lubricating those cords or anything like that. It's a very simple, uh, no maintenance option for you. So a, a little bit of a, a benefit there over the other uh, airbag style on the market. Now this does have a self latching lever that's automatically going to engage with your standard two and five sixteenth inch hitch ball. So basically you just got to get it lined up and set it in and it's going to latch right onto there. So you're going to have a nice solid connection. Then when you're ready to disconnect, you've got this cable so that you can easily reach it from the back of your truck or uh, near your trailer and just lift up on that. And that's going to lift your latch. If I can get enough pressure here without knocking it over, you can see that moving. That's going to disengage your latch so that you can uh, disconnect very easily. You don't have to climb into your truck bed, uh, reach in there and deal with that. It's very simple to access from the outside. You can see we do have these cross-shaped holes here. Uh, these are for our safety chains. So you can very easily get that safety chain hook put in there and it's gonna slide in place and hold uh, to give you that extra connection point. So uh, very convenient there on both sides. This does, in addition to our sturdy steel construction, it also has this powder coat finish. So that's going to help it resist corrosion and hold up really well for us for a long time to come. Uh, and as far as quality goes, Gen Y has a great reputation for building heavy duty um, components. And this is no exception. This is a heavy duty component. So like I said, you are definitely want, going to want to have several sets of hands to install it. Uh, but once it's installed, it's, it's uh, definitely robust and you're gonna feel secure knowing that your whole uh, trailer system is in good hands. Uh, this is made here in the USA, so you can trust. It's made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. Uh, so if you do find yourself in that situation where you've got a gooseneck ball, almost all your trailers are goosenecks, uh, and you, get, you have a random fifth wheel that you're wanting to tow, uh, if you do have that Lippert uh, part numbers, the, the 1116 or 1716, uh, this is going to be a really nice option to just convert that over so that you can use that gooseneck ball for all your trailers. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.